So you're a developer and you're asking yourself, why should I develop on the BuildFire platform? Let me tell you why. Whether you're a seasoned developer or new to the game, BuildFire has a lot to offer. If you're a seasoned developer, you know there's a lot of code that is just mundane, that, that you know how to do, but you don't necessarily want to spend all your time doing it. Uh, for example, if you're a web developer, you don't necessarily want to develop the public site that's a, really for marketing purposes. You want to spend your time doing what's specific to the business. Same thing on uh, BuildFire's side. You don't want to spend all the time developing all the common functionality that every app has. You want to spend your time uh, developing the piece that's specific to your business, and BuildFire allows you to do that. It cuts time. It cuts resources down. Uh, if you're a developer uh, as a contractor, it actually helps you turn a better profit since you don't have to um, maintain servers. You don't have to develop standard features uh, from scratch. It allows you to just pick the part that's missing from BuildFire and actually develop that that's specific to the business. Now, for new developers as well as old developers, the good thing with the BuildFire plugin uh, platform is that one it's open source so you can actually go to our github account and look at any existing plugin and just pull up that plugin and fork it and make it yours so if you have a client that says hey I like that the existing functionality in build fire but I want to tweak just a little bit you can take it it's completely open source you can actually even resell it uh, to your customer uh, completely free of, free of charge it's uh, under the MIT open source license uh, so that's extremely valuable right there uh, and then. So you can modify what, what it currently exists and resubmit it and even resell it. Um, when it comes down to actual development, it's your standard JavaScript, HTML5, CSS framework. If you like using jQuery, you can use it. If you like using Angular, you can use that. If you like using React, Backbone, Underscore, name the JavaScript framework that you like to use, you can go ahead and use that. The other thing is our developer portal. In our developer portal, you'll find all the resources that you need, uh, as well as in, in GitHub, you'll find under the SDK. Wiki, you'll find tons of documentation there, as well as in our developer portal, how to get set up with your uh, plugin environment. We have a lot of testing tools for you, debugging tools for you. We also deal with all the headaches of dealing with upgrades in operating systems that every time iOS comes out with a new version or Android comes out with a new version there's sometimes incompatibilities we deal with all that so that you don't have to so to develop a plugin similar to these all there's tons of building blocks that you can use that um, for example this carousel is a component you don't have to redevelop that you can if you like and uh, but we will provide that component for you as well same thing with the WYSIWYGs um, a lot of these are, are canned components that you can reuse. That's why they're so similar from plugin to plugin. Again, you can choose to use them. You can choose not to use them. We give you uh, certain features and services, uh, for example, data store and user data that allows you to securely save your data without maintaining your own servers. Just the DevOps and maintaining servers and load balancers and scaling services is such a headache that you don't have to deal with when it comes down to your product uh, or if you're a contractor to your customer that also um, gives you more profit whenever you sell uh, your application or if this is for your business uh, just the maintenance cost uh, dealing with that is so is reduced so much another really big selling point to all the developers and I know I love this the most myself is everybody knows a project that just will not end no matter what you do, it's complete, it's bug free, you give it to your customer or to the business owner and they're constantly tweaking. The best thing about BuildFire is that you could also come in here and say, hey, Mr. Business Owner, hey, Mr. Manager, whoever you are, uh, you can go in here, you want to change the colors, you want to change the wording, here, come in here and change it any which way you want. You don't have to call me every single time. If you want to tweak an image, they can go ahead and do that themselves. If they want to add an action item really quick for it to take an action, they can do that themselves without constantly going back to you, the developer, because it just will never end. Uh, so that, get put, that puts the responsibility back on the business owner and you can focus on the next great feature. 
I'll provide a bunch of links for you to go and look at uh, some videos that we have on how to create your own plugin.